I was inspired to tell stories about gloriosos. Um, I have neighbors, or had neighbors, uh, that were had connections to gloriosos. Um, so, start the story. All right, when I was seven years old, we moved into my first house, my mom, dad, brother, and me. And um, it was on the south side of Milwaukee, and we finally had kids in the, in the neighborhood to play with, and we had all these neighbors, and we have these next door neighbors named Annie and Mike. And all the kids loved going to Mike's, which is Big Mike, Big Mike. We all called him Big Mike. For some reason, I don't know why. I suppose when you're a kid, everyone's big to you. <laughs> um, yeah, we would talk to Big Mike. He would listen to us, and he would tell us stories, and Annie would give us treats and candy. And um, I, being the next door neighbor, I had the most opportunities to talk to him. And I remember one day we were talking about what I wanted to do when I grew up and with jobs that are good and jobs that are not so good. And he said, well, you know, the best job is to be a real estate agent. And, you know, I'm eight years old and I'm thinking, what, what's a real estate agent? What's an estate? Well, whatever it is, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me he was in the Navy in World War II, and he was at Pearl Harbor. And I'm thinking, why is a harbor made out of pearl? That's just stupid. And every soldier, I mean, every, every sailor in the Navy has to go to harbor at some point. And I knew that because my dad was in the Navy and he told me. So if every sailor has to go to a harbor, why is Pearl Harbor such a big deal, really? But um, yeah, then after a while, you know, kids would come by and they would knock on Annie's door and they would say, can Mike come out if he wasn't already sitting outside? And they would, um, come to the door and after a while he was not out so much anymore and we would come to the door and Annie would still give us cookies and treats and candy and all that but she would say no sorry Mike's not feeling very well today he's not coming out or you know he's sick today can't come out so after a while we just Stop knocking on her door. Stop asking if Mike can come out. Big Mike, big Mike. And um, <laughs> so we would still talk to Annie over the fence, you know, hanging up her laundry in the backyard. Um, so we'd still see her once in a while, but it wasn't like it used to be. Um, and then in middle school, when I was in middle school, uh, I got out of school an hour before my mom got home. So my parents arranged it that the school bus would drop me off at Annie's house. And Annie would keep me for an hour before my mom got home. And she would give me treats and talk, we'd talk about her growing up in Italy and what it was like. And, her parents raised goats, and um, they had great Italian food, especially the pizza. She loved the pizza. No one makes pizza or any Italian food like they do in Italy. And she said, the only place that has real Italian pizza is Glorioso's. And <laughs> she told me then that her cousin was one of the founding fathers of Gloriosos. I don't know which one he is in the pictures, but one of them. Um, 
And Gloriosos was originally just an Italian deli, and then on Rainy Street, and then it became so popular that they had to build a new, bigger building across the street. And um, that is now the Gloriosos grocery store that we all know. And now that I live near there, I go there pretty often. And there's pictures of the Pony Fathers standing in front of the original deli. And I think, hey, I know that that's Annie's cousin. I remember Annie and Big Mike and all my, my uh, childhood friends and neighbors and brings back neighbors to my memories of my childhood and brings back good times. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Awesome.